Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of the AccessToTrader.com nightly uh, wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So not only, just to, get, to give you an idea of what's going on in my little world, not only um, you know, am I locked in my house for two months, okay, going stir crazy, more or less. If you think that all, all that is not enough, we had a tornado warning, okay, all day today till about six o'clock. Welcome to my world. Can we go back to 219, 220? Too much stuff going on. Before we get into the pivots, and there was some crazy, crazy action. For all you guys, obviously, Trey Beta, you kind of know. You know, it, again, almost 21 years, and I, I, I always say I'm always learning, right? I'm always learning, and most of the times, I won't be surprised, okay? There's nothing really, anything out there that can shock me. But today's day was something that I've never really seen before, where I actually, I just don't remember seeing it in a very, very long time. And if you look at today's day, okay, you saw most of the day, the Dow was down 500 points, led by the declines of Boeing and Caterpillar. That wasn't a big deal, right? It wasn't a big deal whatsoever because again, markets go up, markets go down. It wasn't even the idea of beta was super strong versus the Dow that you couldn't even make an argument if the market was down or up today. Again, you could, depending on what you were trading, you can make a very, very strong case that the market was really, really up. It felt at one point like the market was up 30,000 points today, okay? That wasn't the crazy part, okay? Goldman Sachs came out today. Uh, one of the analysts believes that the bottom is in. Okay, great. That's their opinion. That's not what surprised me. Deaths uh, in Italy, okay? This is a very, very important point. Um, fewest, excuse me, fewest cases in Italy since April 7th with the coronavirus. Check, check. That was good. Uh, horrific numbers, again, still coming out of New York. We've topped, well, the 10,000 deaths time. Again, that's not really surprising. What's surprising about today's session of what happened, okay, actually when these pivots confirmed, right, second entry, all that good stuff. Usually when you see a strong stock, right, like for example, when you see Tesla, and again, we'll get to the, all the pivots in a second, but usually when you see Tesla strong or Netflix strong or Amazon strong, you're going to have usually a move of your opening range high, a retrace, kind of confirmation opening range high, puts in a new candle, retraces back, runs a little more, retraces back, runs a little more, takes out the high, closes strong, right? That's a very, very strong day. What I saw today, I don't remember ever seeing, okay? Since I've been trading pivots now, for about eight and a half years, I never remembered a day, or I just, I don't remember a day that I saw a stock break out and never test, okay? Never back test to a rising support. I've never seen that. And when you look at today, for example, the action, again, we'll, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. But when you look at the individual action today in Tesla, okay? Now you see, now it, the line comes perfectly when we were watching it, okay, I noticed there was no back test for the exception of the first initial move. This is like at what, 9.40 in the morning, 10 minutes into the open. They didn't get another test of a rising support for the rest of the day. Just, just think about that. It basically went straight up, okay? There wasn't a downtick into rising support. If you look at Amazon, right? If you look at Amazon, the same thing, right? This is the big pivot here. We'll talk about that in a second. And it just went straight up. I mean, literally straight up. And by the, on a side note, does anybody not think that Amazon's going to take out the 52-week high tomorrow? Just saying. If you look at Netflix, right? If you look at Netflix, the same thing, okay? It gapped up, got above this range, took out that 84 area that we were talking about macro. There wasn't a downtick into rising support. And the most amazing part is when you, when you go back, okay, a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, okay, when we look back at the horrific, okay, cases of the coronavirus, um, the people who died, okay, the businesses, unfortunately, that didn't survive and didn't reopen. Again, if we could go back into a time capsule, if you look back from the trading aspect 
and you look at it, and this is why, again, w why we trade beta. Again, 90% of my trades are going to be the same 9, 10 stocks. When you look at these stocks, they're either at all-time highs, okay, or about to get there, which is the most amazing part. And this is why we say that there's nothing close to the beta world, okay? When they go, they go. When they go down, they go down like 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 a like a like a, a house of bricks. So they're the greatest two-way instruments you can you can possibly come across, especially if you're an intraday trader. Okay, if you're an options trader, it's a whole different story. Uh, big aggressive bets. We saw uh, Thursday into Friday on Tesla. Were they wrong? Were they not uncertain? One of the biggest moves I've seen in a very very long time. Amazon today looked like there was there was a like today was the last day ever to buy Amazon shares. That's what it looked like. It looked like, like, like literally at one point, Amazon was getting so aggressive at one point that it felt like there was gonna be an announcement say, Amazon shoppers, this is literally the last day for you to buy stocks ever, ever, right? This is the last day or, or, or we're going private, right? So, some, so amazing. I mean, Netflix today looked like, you know, they were gonna get bought out by anybody at any given point. So this was a, an incredible day for experiencing something new, okay? When you look at a bad macro environment, that's what we are right now, and you're covered with great price action off of bad macro news, that's a very, very bullish thing. When you see a staircase to heaven, people use that terminology all the time, when you see an absolute staircase to heaven without a downtick into rising support, that's epic. Okay, that's absolutely epic. And again, guys, congratulations. I know a lot of you guys did incredibly, incredibly well today. Um, you know, it, it's very, and ever since last week when I kind of turned off my humanity to kind of stop thinking of what's going to happen next, again, everybody's thought process is, well, we have to test the lows. We have to test the lows. We have to test the lows. Still waiting, right? Still waiting. So ever since I kind of stopped thinking of what should happen and started thinking that anything could happen, my mind's been completely clear. I've been just waiting for these channels and seeing the market pretty well. The pivots have been incredibly aggressive. And the most important part is my sanity is in, in place. And again, you can't get back your sanity. Um, I'm working out more today. It was hurricane tornado slash end of the world here in New Jersey. I went on the elliptic machine. So mentally, I'm well. Mentally, I'm well. Physically, I'm well. I'm seeing the market well. And now the most important part is for us to kind of push forward uh, as a global universe of people. And hopefully this damn thing uh, will be over uh, in this lifetime or the next, or at least sooner. Um, so macro-wise, boy, oh boy. And after the close, of that, and by the way, if after the close, if that wasn't enough, uh, Roku comes out. And this is, a, this is one of my be better places for tomorrow. I said, well, I, I, I like this 96, 80, 97. As soon as I tweeted this out on the, on the private Twitter feed, this thing guided higher. So we'll, we'll, move, we'll remove that price. So going into tomorrow, here where the cues are. Uh, and this is very, very important. This is a long, long channel uh, going back to the 7th. Today's the 13th. So you're talking about a week worth of action on the cues. Uh, tomorrow, I think they have to reclaim this 50-day, uh, this, uh, what is it? This... Um, there's a 150-day moving average, okay? I, know, I don't know if a lot of people use the 150-day moving average. I do. Um, I think they need to reclaim this uh, 203 and a half, 204 level, because if that happens, then we go to the 50-day, roughly the 206. So tomorrow, a uh, very, very important level. If things do gap up tomorrow and they get rejected off this 150-day moving average, we're going to have to start looking for kind of lower lows. But I think tomorrow, and again, I think Amazon, Tesla, uh, Netflix, if they, if any, first of all, I was about to say, uh, you know, anything red to green, Tesla's up another 20 after the close. Amazon's up another, what, 20 after the close. So ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous rocket ships. But any weakness, right, any dips tomorrow into the 60-minute support, those names have to be bought, right? Netflix has to be bought. I think we have to start looking for names. The, the meat and potato are the ones that didn't really aggressively participate today. They were up, right? They were strong. They started coming out of channels, but I think we have to start looking at the names like an Apple, right? Or NVIDIA. If you look at, if you look at Netflix chart, I just want to show you guys kind of a mirror image, right? Let's take away today's candle, right? Forget about this big candle. You see how it is right here? You see how it hit this area here of supply of Netflix? Okay, today they got it upgraded by Canaccord, blah, 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 blah. Look in the videos chart for tomorrow, right? Look in the videos chart for tomorrow. This is a carbon copy. So 
we have to start looking at stocks that reclaim their five day moving average above their 50 day moving average. And you can start looking at names like NVIDIA, uh, Apple, obviously, NVIDIA, Apple, Shop, uh, Alibaba, Zoom. Again, I only trade 10 stocks. You can figure they're all pretty much going to be on my, on my watch list for tomorrow. Uh, but there's very, very specific areas that need to confirm. And I, and I think what we saw today with Netflix, with Tesla, with Amazon could spill over to those names. And if you get uh, any type of upgrade in those in those names, you could get uh, an, Am you know, an Amazon, Tesla, uh, Netflix performance. So I think the ones who kind of lag today, a shop as well. So I think the ones that kind of lag, that are kind of just sitting right on supply, that really need that push to confirm, those are going to be uh, the meat and potato uh, plays for tomorrow. So uh, let's get into the pivots today. Um, just ridiculous. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, again, uh, first thing I said, congratulations to all the longs who came into uh, Tesla, big move, right op opening go. Uh, but I said, look, I have no bias today. I go business as usual. The Dow is down 500. Like I joked around, I said, look, is, is the market really up? Or, you know, is the market up or down today? Who the hell knows? Um, again, it really does show you how the indexes don't paint the picture. Uh, CNBC will be running with it all day. Well, you know, the Dow is down 400 points. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, again, business as usual. Uh, wait for the confirmation. Second entry on everything. Take flow on the way up. Use break even on all runners. And again, new traders just for the point of taking the volatility uh, out of the equation. Consider start uh, starting your day at 10 o'clock. So this is where it started up, man. It was like one after another after another. Uh, Amazon. And again, Amazon uh, 2054, 2055 needs to build. Um, Amazon just went b bananas. I mean, so here's the whole macro channel. Uh, here is the whole macro channel right here. 20, uh, 2054, right? 2054, 2055. Last week's high was that 2060, right? Last week's high was that 2060. And just, you know, 126. I mean, just insane. Just an absolute insane move. Uh, and you saw all morning, they were coming for the 2100 calls, the tw 2050s, the 2200. They even came... For next year's next January, three thousand dollar call. So it was lit, man. They 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 lit the they lit the stock incredibly aggressively. Uh, Amazon just did it very very well. Um, I caught this Roku trade. Um, I caught it off the sneaky pivot here. This ninety four ten. Uh, and again, it's one hundred six, one hundred seven right now. After hours, there's nothing to do with it today. Uh, but ninety four ten sneaky pivot. Uh, here is the area right here. This is where I got long off this ninety four area. Uh, here is the sneaky pivot right over, where the hell are we? Uh, right here. Everybody see this these candle right here, 94.10, right? So 94.10 was the sneaky pivot. Uh, oh, excuse me, right here. 94.10 was the sneaky pivot right here. And the first move was like to, like a, up a $1.60 or 70 You know, I caught a nice trade in this thing. It, it stood for like, it stood for an extra minute, but it finally got, you know, finally got ignited. So nice move there, obviously. There's no way we're going to take advantage of this 97 pivot for tomorrow, but it is what it is. Nice trade there, uh, nevertheless. Uh, TDOC, uh, 15180, 152 needs to build. Again, a uh, good amount of downloads today on their, um, on their service. So here's the 15180, 152. Uh, first move went to 155 and ultimately went to 156 and <clears throat> change. Um, NVIDIA was actually a really good move this morning to the downside. 260 held twice on macro if it builds below can flush and look in the video right 260 if you look at 260 260 was the low for the last couple of days you see that right here 260 260 you see how it held the rising five minute and so i said if this thing starts taking out 260 it could flush this thing went down all the way down to 257 on one candle here was in the video on the 60 minute view Right, so here was in the video 260, 260, 260, 260, and got hit all the way down to 257 on that first initial print. And this is where things just really, really went crazy. I mean, really, really went nuts. So 495, 497 needs to build for a quick move to 602, 63. And it did that perfectly, right? Uh, I caught the trade perfectly, right? Uh, my, my highest sale for that initial move was like two, uh, excuse me, 602.50s, okay? And it stopped at 604 and came in like $11. So I was like, wow, great move. You know, it closed six, $7 in a couple of minutes. It was fantastic, right? Everything was fantastic. And then Tesla takes out, and again, this is where, again, we talk about channels versus price action. So here's the channel, right? So here's the channel right over here, this 597 stopped, as you can see here, perfectly into supply. 
it remounted supply and then put up literally a $75 candle where it is right now. I mean, again, some things you just can't explain. And when you turn around and you say, well, the, your, your initial move was six, $7. What are you complaining about? And nobody's complaining. Nobody should ever complain. Let that be, again, your worst trade ever. But the problem is it never gave you a, if you, if you were waiting for that rising dip, it never gave you a second entry. It just never did. It was the most amazing thing. It's like seeing a UFO once, right? And then never seeing again. The most amazing thing I've, I've ever seen. Uh, Netflix just completely exploded. Uh, 374.50. Uh, 375 needs to build. And Netflix went... Netflix won Netflix, right? So Netflix, here is the build right here over this uh, 374 and a half, 375. Took out last week's high of 385 and just, just went absolutely bananas. Obviously, uh, dip went, you know, went to 401. Just huge move on that. As you can see, beta went nuts. Beta went completely nuts. Uh, take on the way up, uh, Amazon, take on the way up. I still like this TAL. For all you guys who, um, if you guys, they have did some Chinese accounting thing. Look how many times it's held 50. It held 50 again today. But look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six times. So guys, send an alert on this TAL. Eventually, if this thing starts losing 50, it's gonna get nailed. I don't know what it is, if it's ever gonna do it, but this thing eventually starts building below 50, it's gonna get killed. Um, Roku, again, nice move on Roku. I was pretty happy about that as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, Netflix won bananas. And I, and I started saying, oh, wow, look at these moves. I mean, just look at these moves. They're in, absolutely insane. And that, that's what it was. That's to, it was today's theme. It was absolutely insane. You couldn't describe why or how or just insane moves. Uh, again, best stock ever. And this was all, and, and again, keep this in mind, all these moves were in the first like 40 minutes of trading. And at that point, it was like, it was like a, literally a 10, 15, 10, 20. I turn around, I go, does it really even matter what happens after the rest of the day, especially after these first moves. You would never, if you told me Amazon's gonna go up another 100 after, right? Tesla's gonna go up another 60 after? You learn something new every single day. Um, I actually messed up NVIDIA. I actually really messed up NVIDIA. And you can turn around and say, well, wow, what's wrong with this pivot? Nothing was wrong with this pivot. I messed it up. Uh, 264 pivot, I took the second entry, it just wasn't strong, okay, it wasn't strong, and my read was fine, okay, my read was fine, uh, I wound up losing like 30, 35 cents, nothing, okay, nothing, and then the stock sold off too, and then, you know, as soon as I went to lunch, this thing rallied two and a half dollars, so blah, 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 but my, my initial read was right, 265.11 went to 269, so yes, I absolutely screwed up this trade, uh, but yeah, ridiculous moves everywhere. Um, just nuts, just absolutely nuts. So I think going into tomorrow, uh, look, you obviously got to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Uh, any dip tomorrow in these beta names need to be bought into rising 60 minutes support. Uh, but again, I think we have to start paying attention to the ones that didn't go really crazy today. Uh, the apples, the Nvidia's, uh, the Alibaba's today, the shops of the world. Um, even Zoom, I know Zoom had a big, big run, but there's a specific channel there I'm looking at for Zoom. Microsoft looks interesting, although it didn't really participate today. Uh, Boeing, Boeing is starting to look like crap again. Um, the, you know, that daily pivot, okay, um, that daily pivot is going to be uh, very, very important to the downside at some point. Uh, didn't participate, so maybe, maybe it's a day away from kind of uh, confirming that downward action, but we'll see, but overall, just another manic Monday, right guys? Guys, stay safe, God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.